into our matchup. Now they're all ready. We're all ready to see a Corrin versus a Samus. There's a matchup I don't really see all the awesome. I've honestly, not seen this once in my me life. Me neither. Like, <laughs> I, like, oh. You've been, like, Samus is a good character, but kind of, I don't know, not a lot of people are playing her, and Corrin is kind of a mediocre character. Not a lot of people are playing her. Yeah, in, in terms of the Fire, like, the Fire Emblem for like, Sorties, I definitely don't see people who choose Corrin over like Ikes or Marth or Lucina's or Roy's, you know? Or even Byleth yeah. nowadays, because uh, I could look at MK Leo, I see you. But right now, uh, <laughs> Samus or uh, Sage Hazard out here is showing us why he's playing Samus and why he's such good at Samus. Getting a clean 79% off of uh, Hoshio's finest. Yeah, and I think there are two big things that it seems like are working out for Stage Hazards, the way he's approaching the matchup. One is we're seeing a lot of that beam, both yep. from the Zare and from the grab. The fact that it just has such good range and it can actually contest is really big. The other thing is he's actually been effectively juggling HF because uh, when he's right underneath them, yeah, Corin, besides like down air, is kind of the only hitbox that you can put underneath her. Yeah. Which is kind of a mediocre hitbox because, I mean, we just saw it traded with up air, for instance. So, you know, as, as I've been, you know, praising Stage Hazard, it seems like Hashida's finest in the meantime has actually taken the lead here. And Corin, Corin has such fantastic kill power. Oh, yeah, those multiple hits are not going to... You, you can't get out of shield for that. You have to make sure you hold shield and make sure you don't get hit by all the remaining well, hits. I, I think it's actually... You have to be extremely careful. Yeah. If I remember correctly, you have to wait for, like, the 11th hit and then roll. And then, I think I, I heard about that. It was 11th or 13th hit. I can't quite remember. It was one of those numbers where you can, like, roll out and have Just a free guess. punish. But Just if you're guess. counting, you gotta make sure you're counting all that. But right now, Hoshi is fine. He's taking the first stock off of Stage Hazard. And ooh, he has to be really careful on the ledge trying to recover. Because Stage Hazard will, will ledge guard you and get you one of those attacks of his. And already, the uh, matchup is back to being in the neutral. <laughs> Look at the wiggle. Oh, the, the wiggle, wiggle. That, that Samus does after she down these. Oh, oh, right. Of course. Of course, uh, Charge Shot is a combo starter. Has to be it's Samus. Yeah. Oh no jump. <laughs> Samus with no jump is actually the really scary. That was really smart. They actually clanked on the grabs, and that up e is Samus's fastest option. Plus, there was extra added safety that if it missed and he needed to, he could have retreated to the ledge. Ooh. Oh. Really smart gameplay from uh from Sage Hazard right there, using that uh, using the I think it was the the stun of the 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 bomb in order to get that uh that down air. Um, I think the bomb two framed actually. Yeah. Charging oh. up. That he side. read the roll, but he forgot that Samus. That's the one time I've seen Samus's roll actually work out for uh -huh. him. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay. He didn't have any invincibility, but didn't actually get punished right there. You know, actually, oh, no. we're seeing Sage Hazard kind of scrap more. Much more than I would expect, especially considering he has the lead. But he's, mm -hmm. like, going right into HF's face, just throwing out these back airs. And oh, it might come back to bite him because yeah. of the fact that he just ran into that attack. He's just not, like, allowing himself to just let himself stay back and let uh, HF um, approach more because he is in disadvantage at the moment. But right now, this might be able to come by him, like, get some karma on him. Yeah, I mean, it felt like this match was absolutely in his control, mm -hmm. but <gasps> HF maybe started to figure things out here. These juggles for Samus have been so brutal. That low, that, oh he tried gosh. to get the low recovery, but oh my god, is he dead? Oh! No, no, not yet, but he might because of the charge shot. A little bit of bombs. Oh no, great, great neutral get up and try and get him away from him. Both of these guys now are in the red. Both of them at kill percent. But it's right yeah, now. He's the one trapped at the ledge. patience off of uh, from Hoshio's finest. Gain that kill for him. Wow. That was absolutely incredible. The comeback from Hoshio's finest. It felt like Sage Hazard, he got that massive down air mm -hmm. stock in stock two. And then over here, I really want to, like, look at, look at the amount of wiggling he does here. Like, he just reacted. That was the ledge attack. If we can go back, actually. That was so beautiful, the, the way he baited this out. I believe this was a ledge attack there. Yeah, yeah, you see, he was just barely outside of it. That was like pixels away from being mm -hmm. being able to hit. Wow. That was such brilliant baiting from Hoshido. And now we're going into game two. It's going to be on FD. FD. What do you think about this counter pick? I think it'll be in more in uh, HS' favor if he doesn't like make me eat my own words. But, um, but honestly, 
It could be really good for for, for either players because both players can just capitalize on the fact there's no stages and they have more a little bit more room to like mess around and uh, just play around with each other and skirt around each other's attacks. Because as you can see right now, both of them are not even. No one's really in a, a complete lead at the moment. They're both at staying about the same percentage, and oh god, <laughs> no one's really uh, just getting out of stock on the other one. It's just honestly kind of surprising on FD. You know those juggles especially, yeah. and the fact that HF was getting these. That was a great drift. Wow, I can't believe he didn't get hit. Um, but, like, Bushido's finest in the last game, we saw him landing these, like, up airs and they would leap to, like, 70%. Oh, getting him right before he grabbed the ledge and get that ledge invincibility. Perfect timing off of from uh, Stage Hazard. But again, like, with the... I think with them, either... Oh. oh. Okay, I thought he keep going with the, with the finishing off the side B. However... Is that a side B? I think so. Yes. Yeah. The Corrin Insta Pin is her mm -hmm. side special. There it is. <laughs> oh, so pretty. But again, like I think both players actually didn't use the ledges as much. Not ledges, but the platforms as much as, as like I can remember. Like most of them were doing a lot of ledge play and being in the center of the stage. Well, there was, admittedly, I feel like the reason why Stage Hazard took HF here, there was a lot of sharking underneath that yeah. platform with the up air. And so this time around, though, this seems to be making. I mean, oh, great we're neck and from, neck. Uh, HF. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really been seeing Zare, which is surprising to me because I feel like on a flatter stage like FD, it would actually be even better, you know, because it's a lot harder for uh, HF to really anticipate, like, mm -hmm. be able to play around it. Oh, Ooh. great, great uh, ninja get up read from Sage Hazard. Just Taking the... HF second stock. Yeah, and well, this is actually reminding me of game one, though, where HF oh. took that really hard stock loss on the second stock. But then he managed to claw his way back. Will he be able to repeat that right here and now? He doesn't, I mean, you never want to, have, when you have like a, when you manage to get that comeback in game one, yep. you don't want to have to go all the way to a game three. And as it stands, looking for this stock. I love that, the patience tries to go for the trump, but stage has it just a little bit too patient for him. The little wiggles that stage has it does in order to cover and kind of knock off uh, Hoshio Fine's game. Oh, yeah, that was take it. See what I'm saying? They're actually wiggling for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Before just getting obliterated by the ch by the I don't know what the move is called. Uh, the dragon shot. I think. Dragon shot. I don't want to say charge shot because it's the same concept. But it stuns, <laughs> yeah. and it's just a good move. I'm glad that Hushu was found was was able to finally get. Oh, oh, great punish from uh, from Sage Hazard. Yeah, but there was actually a tiny bit of a missed punish yeah. earlier from him, and. Man, Hoshido's finest, when it comes down to the last stock, I don't know what clicks in this man's brain. But, oh, but he just knows what to do because to be, make it back to a more even game. <gasps> just barely missing that possible final uh, kill. Oh, things are looking really dicey. And he just blew the charge shot. He's going to have to get another one in the bag. And he's just kind of throwing them out. He wants them to hit. But Hoshido's finest just anticipating a little bit too well. I am getting game one flashbacks right now. That's oh, not enough goodness. to actually kill yet. Oh, the bomb is going to be it. And the the, uh, the actual other hit will just... That was just guaranteed. Again, something that uh, that Sage Hatch is so good at, at using are those bombs in order to like psych you out and make sure you either don't neutral get up, because mm -hmm. you can get by the bomb, or you do, and he's going to hit you with uh, with one of Samus' moves. Yeah, and just the utility of it is so good. Yep, and it oh, was that yeah. bomb connected, down. and which led right into that down tilt. Really yep. smart from Stage Hazard. Although, HF almost did the repeat. Like, almost. They was looking there, like, after he got that forward smash, I'm like, that oh was my god. That great timing. That was the two frame, yep. Yep. Again, that happened twice now, the two frame uh, bomb. Yeah. The first one happened when he got the, the, well, the I think, down Well, I think it also has to do, because it's a constant hitbox, yeah. and uh, I know that Corrin does get a decent amount of intangibility on her up B, and also a lot of weird her buck shifting. So if you just put it right at the ledge, you know that Corrin is going to be at the ledge in order to grab it. So I wonder if if he held down, would that have actually managed to, would he not have gotten hit by it? I genuinely don't know. Um, it might be a mix up that we see. It might be that sometimes holding down, especially if the Samus isn't expecting it, might be, the, uh, might be an answer. We'll see if that comes to pass. Right now, back we're, we're we're taking over to a small battlefield. So I mean that a little a very similar to PS2, but no just this time the uh, the middle platform is a little bit shorter than PS2s. But will this be Ooh. something? It's clearly something that Stage Hazard is more comfortable with because he's able to get. 
103, not quite killing though on uh, on Hoshido's finest. Yeah, but the thing is, whenever oh, he doesn't kill, Hoshido manages to really climb Agreed. back. Like right now, still alive. Stage has was actually kind of struggling to end the stock. The question is whether Hoshida's finest can manage to actually do anything with that struggle. Oh, what a recovery. I always get so scared when corners do that. Because sometimes they just don't, it's just too fast. You don't, come, you don't react in time to use your upbeat and come back from that. <gasps> Look at all this damage. 88%. Even now, if Hoshida's finest wow. does die, he has a little bit of something to work with once he respawns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's job to take it on 178 percent, definitely. So, all right, 110 now, especially with this stage. Depend. Oh, I don't know if he can recover from this. He held on to his jump. Yep. So smart. Good job. He's going to roll in. What a great roll read. <laughs> wow. I, I'm laughing because he, he totally thought that little homing missile was going to hit him, and that's yeah. why he was holding shield. It's great bait for the for the jump. Man, it's... Like, in, HF, is, he's going to have to take a stock from a ledge trap, it feels. Mm -hmm. Oh, big damage uh -oh. might come out. Oh. Yep, definitely so. Lots of damage wrapped up on HF. And even more so, it's allowing himself to get hit by all these re he's, these predictable movements he's making at the moment. <gasps> that air dodge, I felt like he should have gotten punished maybe a little bit harder for that, but I love that. They're going above the ledge, and Korn does have quite a bit of drift on that up B after the fact, so it's a nice mix up, but uh, there's that kill throw. Yep. <sighs> and the taunt. Okay. I, I, I was hoping I didn't see a taunt, but that was definitely a taunt. Yeah, I mean, he he got taunted last game, so it actually is fair. I missed it. I can't. It was when he got hit by the paralyzing shot, and he just sat there for like. Oh, I was six watching. Seconds. I was watching the paralyzing shot. Yeah. No, <laughs> Why are you were watching the paralyzing I was, shot? I want to watch him die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but here's here comes the shield finest on that last stock. Oh, suddenly he's just doing all these random moves in order to take that stock. Oh, he almost took your water. <laughs> I'm telling you, just like you why? said, on that last stock, he just starts playing the game like it's a why? game. Bro, why can't you do this on every stock? Oh, oh, it oh. saved him, I think. It did. It, did. it gave him like a slight, uh, I think, a boost up. Yeah, in he order got to use his again. Will that maybe really come back to fight stage hazard? <laughs> it remains to be seen, but HF oh. has managed to basically make it a last hit game every single time. Can this time around he actually take it all the way to a victory, though? Oh, my <gasps> little heart can't take this. Oh, man, that roll behind completely unpunished. Corin doesn't have a great option to punish cross-ups on her shield. <gasps> Both shielding, be... being so afraid of hanging one another. Because I think Stage knows at this point, even though HF is at a one that's six, oh, that's it. it. I was going to say, HF yeah. knows that once at, uh, oh. Sage Hires knows that once HF is at a, has like a 170%, he can make it back easily. But this time is not going to happen with this third and last game going over yeah. to Stage Hazard. And it's generally, it is so hard to make a comeback against a character with a kill throw. Mm -hmm. Even if it is a slower kill throw like uh, Sam is here, just that pivot grab was beautiful. And it was something that he had not shown. It wasn't like spamming it. He wasn't like really trying to fish for it. He just yeah. kept it in his pocket. He's like, I know it. as soon as I get this, it will kill. And he just waited for the exact right opportunity, found it and secured himself a win, putting himself, uh, making it well out of pools, I think. Is that... Is that top eight yet or no? It's top 24. No, yeah, okay. 24.